Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to day three of Plast India and it's a pleasure to have Mr. Eddie Wong, SVP Asia South Buruj with us. Uh, thank you so much for speaking with us. The first time you're speaking to Polymer Update. Uh, let's quickly dive right into the conversation, sir. It's been five years since the last Plast India event. How does it feel to be back at the premier event for the plastics industry? We're very excited. Um, it's a, Like you said, it's five years since last yes. time uh, participation. I think the uh, crowd is really good. And uh, we are, as a Bruges, we are very proud uh, to rip, bring uh, new products and to uh, tell our customer what we have. And uh, we are also very proud to participate in the uh, new wave of uh, uh, economic growth that be part of it uh, for the Indian market. Yes, yes. Uh, Mr. Wong, how is Buruj's Borealis Advanced Proprietary Technologies contributing to address global challenges uh, such as climate change, energy transition and waste management? That's a very big question. Uh, you talked uh, touch uh, quite a few uh, key points about the global challenges. Um, uh, the uh, climate change, uh, let's just take uh, one example, right? Yeah. Um, we, there are a lot of things that we did. Maybe I can give you one example of what we did. Uh, we, in our product portfolio, we have a, a sub-segment in ag agriculture. We produce uh, greenhouse fuel, mulch fuel, and uh, irrigation, and many of the solutions to help our farmers to, include the, uh, to increase the crop yield and, uh, and the food, food contribute to food safety. And uh, one of the uh, clear uh, climate change has uh, put a lot of risk yes. on the food safety, uh, not only in India, but globally. Globally, right? true, true. Um, our product, uh, tomorrow we will have an agriculture event. Mm -hmm. Basically, is uh, we have invited our uh, many of the farmers in the uh, with with the leading more modern agriculture concepts to come in to give an affidavit of how the Bruch product mm -hmm. helped the farming industry to inc to weather through the climate change and uh, uh, increase the crop safety. Mm -hmm. So through, for example, greenhouse uh, film to uh, to better utilize the sun and also collect the rainwater and with the mulch film protect the moisture level on the on the on the ground and use the irrigation uh, irrigation drip, drip belt to reduce the uh, water consumption so they can still can achieve very good harvest so that's one example in the and on the climate change side uh, then second part you mentioned is the uh, energy right, right, right. Uh, we have uh, another segment in our product portfolio is uh, the wine cable so we our product produces, uh, uh, we have a quite a few good products in our portfolios to uh, uh, help to build the winder cable for high end voltage. Uh, high voltage uh, helps the uh, energy transition, safe energy transition from, uh, uh, from uh, cl clean renewable energy sources right, right. across the country. Right? And uh, this is uh, one of the great examples that the Bruges can use our uh, innovation and a product uh, advantage to achieve something that uh, uh, previously was very difficult to achieve. True, true. And uh, last point that you talked about uh, is the uh, waste, waste management, management, which is circularity is one of the biggest uh, topics that uh, uh, and the theme Thank of our it's the buzzword business. right now. Everybody yeah. wants to talk about circularity exactly, these exactly. days. <laughs> and we we also part of that. Uh, um, uh, everybody that you mentioned uh, the theme of our. Uh, uh, this year's uh, show is a building sustainability and circularity right, together. Right, right. Right? And uh, for Indian market, it, it's, this is also one of the, my biggest takeaway uh, from uh, talking to customers, our customers' customers, and uh, people playing in the recycling field. And uh, India, I think, is very much uh, uh, matured in, in its own way and uh, in terms of uh, recyclability mm -hmm. and then the potential is also huge True. right in here i think uh, in bruges we are focusing on two keywords innovation and collaboration mm -hmm. and what i mean by innovation is uh, in order for uh, the uh, material to be able to polyolefin material to be recyclable mm -hmm. you need to design the product in such a way so that it can be easily recycled the model material is one example. Many of our packaging solution needs to have a multiple material, different layers mm -hmm. to create a certain functionality. But uh, have a multiple materials 
will be very will be disaster for the recycling how to process them later. So design the material in a mono material way. So this is the innovation that we need to we need to do as yes. a, as, a, as a player in the market. Mr. Wong, I'm yeah. going to uh, pick up on the point of yeah. polyolefins yeah. and uh, talk about your current operating capacity yeah. of your polyolefin complex in Al Rubai, UAE. Rubai. Yes, Rubai, yeah. UAE. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? Yes, we are very proud. We have a state of art uh, of a production facility facility based in the UAE. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, over the past 20 years, we have uh, grown our uh, uh, capacity from zero to 5 million ton today. Uh, last year, we have inaugurated our fifth PP plant to uh, reach the 5 million ton uh, between the PE and PP. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have a further investment down the road and in our ambitions, right? So um, we are also very proud that, that uh, our fast growing capacity is able to meet the fast growing demand in the key markets like mm -hmm. India. Right? And also because of the uh, supply uh, proximity and a robust logistic uh, channel between India and Middle East and we are able to serve the market very well. Yeah, Mr. Wong, I'm going to leave you with one last question. Yeah. Uh, we talk about COVID a lot and yeah. it's been two long years that you know COVID has hit us. Yeah. So how has the global economic turbulence uh, impacted your business? Uh, I think I know it's a broad topic, but just <laughs> a, I think it's okay. COVID changed us uh, many in many ways. Uh, changed us in the terms of uh, the way we're working, and uh, but in the uh, help of technology, we are more connected than before. Yes, and yes. after COVID, I think I think we are even more com connected, not only with our employees but with our customers. Mm -hmm. We have uh, multiple ways to engage with our customers electronically and other ways bef compared to co uh, before the COVID. COVID, I think, has also changed uh, quite a bit uh, the way consumers and the industrial customers, right, right. the way they take the products. Mm -hmm. And we are also a bit able to agile to adjust our innovation to tailor to those needs. Mm -hmm. And I think those uh, uh, changes will continue. And the world, we are living in a changing, changing in world. In the changing right? world, absolutely. Agility, innovation, and uh, again, I want to come back to the world of collaboration. Collaborations. With our partners, mm -hmm. with uh, the customers, uh, the value chain players. I think it is something that we're committed to. Right. Agility, innovation and collaborations are the three key points that Mr. Wong will leave us with. Mr. Wong, thank you so much for speaking with us. Pleasure talking to you. And we have much more for you from today's coverage of Day 3 at Plast India 2023. Stay tuned to Polymer Update.